As we move into summer, Nick's been showing us how to get the best out of a barbecue with lots of tips and recipes. Last week he made sizzling venison burgers, this week it's chicken marinade. Now in my experience, chicken can really define a bad barbecue. It can be either undercooked or overcooked and sometimes a takeaway would be a better option. Doogie, it's cooking with Landward. We never need to use the services of a takeaway because we always produce such great tasty food. And with the barbecue season on us, we want to think about the safety of food as well. And who better to tell me about the do's and don'ts of barbecuing so that we eat well? And environmental health officer, Karen Malcolmson. What are the problems that we experience during the barbecue season? The main issues concerned with barbecue safety are thorough cooking of your food, um, cross-contamination, so that's the transfer of bacteria from raw food to ready to eat food, say salad, and also personal hygiene as well. So people must wash their hands before they start touching food. How do we know when food is actually thoroughly cooked? How should people check? Make sure it's not pink in the inside and the juices run clear and that's how you know your food is thoroughly cooked. Well, if you want to go and put your feet up, I'll prepare a little bit of chicken teriyaki for you, let you taste it and you can tell me if it's properly cooked or not. The marinade goes like this. We take a little bit of chilli, this is a red chopped chilli, as much or as little as you like. So that's the, the heat for this. The saltiness comes from soy sauce. The sour is going to come from lime juice, juice of half of the lime, but I also want a little bit of the fragrance of the lime, and I'm going to zest the outside of the lime, and then we want a little bit of oil in here, and I'm going to use some sesame oil. And then to finish it off, a little bit of mustard. And then I'm going to add the chicken. I'm going to use chicken thighs rather than chicken breast, because that little extra bit of fat and sinew in the thighs keeps the chicken really moist and succulent when it's fully cooked through. Ideally, you want about an hour in the marinade. In they go to the marinade, really work them around. Meanwhile, I wash my hands. Preheat the barbecue, nice and hot. Pop them on. Shut the barbie and leave them. You've got to leave it until it starts to caramelise on the outside. It may stick to the bars at first, but as the temperature increases and the sugars turn to caramel, it will actually naturally release off the bars. Okay, they've had about two minutes. It's time to turn them over. A little bit more marinade over the top, and we'll give them another couple of minutes just to make sure that they're fully cooked through. Now, this is the point where they're fully cooked that add the honey. Drizzle that over the top. Don't let the honey burn on the bars. Turn them over. Nah, these are looking fantastic. They've glazed up beautifully. They're dark and sticky on the outside. Time to take them over, and then we'll pop the kebabs on. Oh, that is sensational. I am certain that Karen is going to love these. So, Karen, what do you think? Looks lovely. Do you think it looks properly cooked? I think so, yeah. Dig in, have a piece. I'm very taste of lime. It tastes very fresh, strong. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. That's what comes from making your own marinade. And not dry, it's still nice and juicy. Excellent. OK, well, thank you very much for thank your you. uh, very useful advice and we'll make sure that this year that everybody barbecues safely. <laughs> and if you've enjoyed the recipes, you can find them on the website, Scotland Outdoors. And join me again next week when I'll be proving that barbecuing for vegetarians doesn't need to be a chore.